Okay, so today we're going to be working on our self-portrait. First things first, you're going to get your nice 80-pound piece of paper. You should have one pencil and an eraser to work with. And our motto today is draw lightly. First things first, we're going to start with our name. So you're going to put your first name, Mr. Your last name, Lundgren. And your grade, three, four, five, whatever grade we do this in and then do teacher's name, your teacher. Okay, your teacher's homeroom. Now, the deal with what's coming next is you're going to try to follow the best you can along with my um, example, but my drawings are just a little bit off, my original drawings. So first things first, we need to have an oval. And it's really hard for me to make an exact oval like this that matches without, you know, tracing it. And I don't want to do that. So, number one, you're not going to have your head so high up that you don't have any space up here to work with for hair. And you've got a bunch of body. You don't want it so far down that you can't put shoulders and a neck on. You want it to be about here so that you've got enough room for a head, a neck, and shoulders. And then you want some room up at the top for hair. So I'm going to put this one aside. Make sure that your paper is vertical. It's not horizontal the landscape way, but vertical the portrait way. And you're going to put your oval right there. I'm going to try to make mine the right size, all right, so that I kind of match my picture. Um, so you're going to take your blank sheet, take your, your pencil, and I like to tell students that if you kind of do an oval without drawing first and you kind of eyeball it then once you get to the point of wanting to draw you set your pencil down and of course it's not going to work very well here's my oval okay now I've got one line that I want to keep and the rest of this I'm going to try to erase away this line is way too big that's why I changed it and that's kind of a pretty reasonable oval I'm gonna clean up these edges just a little bit and remember your oval should be wider at the top and a little thinner down at the bottom because your chin is gonna be a little bit thinner than the top of your head now once you've got your oval we're going to move on and remember our motto is draw lightly because we're going to be erasing a lot of our guidelines that we end up making. So there's my oval. It's pretty close. Not perfect. It's just a little bit on the large side, but that's going to have to do. Okay. The next part that we're going to do here is we are going to do our cross guidelines like this. We're going to have a line halfway in the middle from side to side and halfway in the middle from top to bottom. If you measure it with your fingers you should be able to come up with a half and a half. So we're going to kind of estimate with our eyeball. I think this is about halfway from side to side. I'm going to draw a very light line because I want to be able to erase it later. Then I'm going to kind of estimate about halfway looks like about here and I'm going to draw a light line halfway and if we measure it it should be the same okay this is a little bit off I'm going to make my line right there my halfway line and erase this one so it's right in half and now let's measure this side to side side to side good so you should have a halfway line it's kind of hard to see mine there so I'm going to make it a little bit darker but I want yours to be very light you should just barely be able to see them. Okay, can you see mine? Good, there they are. So there's our halfway lines. And here's my traced copy again. It should look something like that. Now we're gonna move on to the, the nose and mouth guidelines. Okay, and they should be something like this. You should have this space here divided almost in half, one here, one here. So you've got half and half. And then this space between the nose and the chin, I like to do in half or in thirds. I have it here drawn in half. It should be, I mean, in reality, this line where your mouth, the middle of your mouth is, should be just a little bit higher. But for um, this tracing, I kind of traced it wrong. So number one, you're going to take this space, you're going to divide it in half. 
I think my halfway line is about there. Let's check. Use your fingers to kind of estimate. That's about right. It's a little lower. So that's the bottom of my nose right there. Okay, this is the bottom of my nose. If I measure from this center line to there, it should be exactly the same. Then from the bottom of your nose to your chin, if you divide that into about thirds or about half, one, two, and a little bit more, that's about where your mouth should be. So I'm gonna make a nice long line for my mouth just so we know which is which. Okay, so this is your nose, this is your mouth. You should have it laid out something like that. Next step, we're gonna do the eyes. The eyes are very difficult, my friends. And so if this is what we're looking at, this is the eye. You should have about five eyes from one side of your head to the other side of your head. Okay, and if we take this right now and I kind of draw underneath here, um, you're gonna first things first, divide your picture into four sections. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, looking at the blue lines and the blue numbers. Start by dividing, by using your center line here. Okay, here's my center line. And dividing from this side to there in half. Okay, so from here to here, you're gonna divide it in about half. Okay, and if I use my fingers to measure that, that's right. So you've got your thing divided in half on one side, and you're gonna again divide it in half on the other side. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four spaces, just like we have it here. Okay, now we're gonna take that space from the center to this halfway point, and we're gonna measure that. You can measure it with your fingers. Okay, you're gonna use that, and that is about the size of your eye. You should have five eyes one in the center, the middle eye, one to the left, one to the right, and then you're gonna have a little bit of extra on either side. So if you do that, you're gonna take this space, you're gonna move it so the center line is right in the middle of it, and you're gonna kind of mark it, mark where your fingers are, and you're gonna draw a line there. I'm gonna make mine longer so you can see them. So there's my middle eye. Now I'm gonna start at the edge of my middle eye, I'm gonna measure this part, start at the edge of my middle eye to make the end of my eye then I have this extra space left over Then I'm going to measure that again and move over to the other side and measure it and then I have my right eye now if I take these center ones and I erase them to kind of get things a little less confusing I erase the numbers so it's a little less confusing you should have five spaces. You should have one that's a little bit smaller, two that's an eye width, three that's the same width, four that's the same eye width, and five that's a little bit smaller. So one and five should be a little smaller spaces, two, three, and four should be exactly the same size, kind of spaced out with one eye in the middle and one on either side. So that when you're done, you've got those eye spaces in there, okay? Next, we gotta, we have to draw the eyes. Now this part I left out from the diagram because it's really um, kind of hard to draw eyes within a diagram. So here we go. I'm gonna erase these leftover numbers because we don't want them there. They're just gonna confuse us later. So erase those if you have them. Now, our eyes are gonna be in these two spaces right here. And I'm gonna draw a little example of what they should look like. If I take this and I, you can see the line underneath there, I'm gonna trace it so you can follow along with me. There's a couple different ways to do an eye. And here's one. You start at this edge and you go up and then down. Notice how the curve, the highest point of the curve isn't in the middle. Same thing on the bottom, curve down and up. And there's an eye, okay? Now to do the rest of the eye, you need to do what's called the iris, the colored part. And the colored part usually touches the top and bottom of the eye hole like that. Okay, now if you want it looking center, you're gonna draw that right in the center. 
if you want it looking to the right you're gonna draw that right here and it's, you're not gonna be able to see this part of it right if you want it looking the other way okay you can draw your eye hole and put the circle on this side and of course it might go out of that hole a little bit and then you're looking that way okay I'm going to choose to draw my eye to the center so if I take these little cards out here and I kind of set them out for you having those different eyes looking one way or the other okay I'm gonna draw mine right in the center so I'm gonna start here gonna make my curved part up and down do it on the other side up and down down and up I'm gonna draw my iris right in the center just like that and just like that okay now to make the eyelids here's my eyelids you can do one of three things if you've got your eyelid just normal the eyelid usually droops over just the very tip top here okay so you would droop your eyelid right over there and then you would erase that little bit of your iris so it looks like that if you want your eyes really wide open you would take your normal eye and raise your eye up like this and erase it and then what it is your iris looks or your iris part looks small and your eye is wide open like wow surprised okay so depending on which one you want you want your eye open or closed okay I, I'm gonna make my normal I'm gonna start here and just do a normal line right over the top and erase this iris part I'm gonna do my line right over the iris and erase that iris part okay so then I've got my iris stopping there right at my eyelid okay and now we need to do the um, pupil part which is right here the pupil should be in the center of your iris now if it's in the center of your iris and it's over here you know you gotta make sure that it's in the center of your iris there it can't be in the center of your eye over here or something okay and that's gonna conclude the part of the eyes and up to the eyes in the next video I'll work on the nose and the mouth, okay?